Hi guys, this is Dr. Marwa. And this is Dr. Sparsh. We here and present to you the concept of neuroplasticity in doctors. Now, just to understand that concept, I'll take you a few years back in the 1930s where a classical neurophysiology experiment was conducted in the rats. You see, electrodes were placed in the brain of the rats and when these rats who were present in a cage pressed a lever, it completed the circuit and that was associated with a massive amount of release of dopamine in the brain of the rats, thereby giving a sense of gratification or pleasure. Rats became so addicted to pressing the lever and getting the dopamine high that they even started compromising or their natural urges of thirst and hunger. It was observed by the scientists that in order to save the life of the rats from starvation, the rats had to be actually pulled out of the cage. These rats were actually exhausted by the effort that they were getting after having that sense of pleasure and they became absolutely lazy. They were kind of force fed so as to save their lives. So rats had a very, I would say, a compromising kind of attitude and they were like, bhai, mujhe to sone do. Well, here I want to remind you high dopamine release activity. Ke bare mein aapko yaad karana chahta hu. Dekhi, hostel wali maggi to aap sabko yaad hogi. आप इमेजिन करिए कि रात को दो बजे आप एबीजी एनालिसिस पढ़ रहे हैं ईसीजी पढ़ रहे हैं या कोई और डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक पढ़ रहे हैं एंड सडनली आपको भूख लगी तो आपने सोचा कि चलिए नीचे जाके हॉस्टल में मैगी बनवा के खाते हैं अब मैगी बनाने में दो मिनट लगते हैं लेकिन हो सकता है कि वहाँ पर आपके पंद्रह बीस मिनट लग जाए मैगी का क्योंकि आपके पास में ऑर्डर आएगा फिर आप मैगी खाएंगे और उसके बीच में आपने अपना मोबाइल फ़ोन खोला और सोचा कि चलो यार टाइम तो मैं वेस्ट करना नहीं चाहता तो मैं कुछ देर के लिए नेटफ्लिक्स की सीरीज़ देख लेता हूँ आपका टारगेट तो था कि आप पाँच मिनट के लिए ही कोई वीडियो ट्रेलर देखेंगे या नेटफ्लिक्स की कोई सीरीज देखेंगे लेकिन वो कब एक घंटा हो जाएगा आपको मालूम ही नहीं चलेगा और कई बार तो आपने देखा होगा नेटफ्लिक्स की सीरीज इतनी इंटरेस्टिंग होती हैं इतना हाई डोपामिन रिलीज कराती हैं आपके ब्रेन में कि आप उसका जो पार्ट टू है उसको देखे बिना आप सो ही नहीं सकते हैं एंड दे फोर आई वन हाईलाइट दिस फैक्ट कि आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि कौन सी लो डोपामिन रिलीज एक्टिविटीज़ होती हैं कौन सी हाई डोपामिन रिलीज एक्टिविटीज़ होती हैं एंड सिमिलरली जैसे इंस्टा पर कोई पिंग आता है या फेसबुक का कोई पेंग आता है नोटिफिकेशन आता है तो आप इमीडिएटली खोल के देखना चाहते हो ना वो क्यों ऐसा होता है क्योंकि जो सोशल मीडिया से हमें जो हाई डोपामिन रिलीज हो रहा है वो हमें फोर्स करता है एक एक दोबारा से अपने मोबाइल फोन को चेकआउट करने के लिए सो वी प्रिपेयर अ काइंड ऑफ लिस्ट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद लो डोपामिन रिलीज लेवल्स एंड एक्टिविटीज विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद हाई डोपामिन रिलीज लेवल्स आई विल फर्स्ट डिस्कस विद यू द टॉप 5 लो डोपामिन रिलीज एक्टिविटीज विच आर सीन इन केस ऑफ डॉक्टर्स Starting off with the one, the low dopamine release activity is going to be like interpretation of a pathology slide. We all very well understand how interesting a lot of people find it. The second can be reading about those wonderful national health programs. We can be having a similar issue when we are talking about the mechanism of action and adverse effect of the drugs. The fourth can be analysis and interpretation of an ECG for that matter, an ABG or EEG. And the fifth and the final one is going for a tutorial or going for a practical session in the hospital. I would also like to highlight here five high dopamine release activities for doctors. Well, the first and the foremost would be getting a distinction or highest marks in the professional exams. But over and above this, another high dopamine release activity would be gratification shown by either a patient or the relatives. And who can forget? I mean, when relatives will say for first time, you know, you will hear the word doctor sahab referring to you per se. The third one would be even much more giving you a higher dopamine uh, threshold, I would say, that is getting a reward from your crush or maybe getting a like on a Facebook post. Or for that matter of fact, once you finished with the professional exams and you binge watching on Netflix or any other series. So once we are able to distinguish between the low dopamine release and the high dopamine release activities, we must know certain hacks to have a dopamine detox. But before I talk about that, I just want to remember a basic fact, friends, that if you are going to be having it easy as of now, life is likely to be hard. If you are going to be having it hard now, life is likely to be easy. On that particular note, I would suggest you that you need to start your day with a low dopamine release activity so that you are able to accomplish what is going to be more valuable for you. In continuation of that, hack number two would be that you have to have a timer for the high dopamine release activity that exactly at which particular point of time are you going to be indulging in them. And then you also need to put a time limit to the fact for how long are you going to be having an investment of that kind of a time for you. 
I want to supplement here by saying the fact that doctors have this uncanny ability. I mean, in no other profession will you be having students or professionals who can switch from a low dopamine to a high dopamine task and vice versa. It's only we doctors who have this capability. And I want you to realize that hidden potential inside you because the earlier you realize it, the more you will be able to increase your productivity. And this switch is what I mean by the word neuroplasticity. So I will just give it an example. The other professions, I'm not being disrespectful to them, but they are going to be just like the manual cars. But we as doctors, our brains are going to be just like an automatic car. The moment you are going to be pressing on the accelerator, the gears are going to be shifting automatically. And that is what sir actually said when we are shifting from a high dopamine to a low dopamine release activity and vice versa. In continuation on that, I will just remind you of the fact friends, if you win it in your mind, you win it in your life. Best, Best wishes. wishes.